Hey there everyone, I am Marindam and today I am going to talk about my new project that is an price monitoring agent. We will create a Streamlit app to interact with our agent and I will show you how you can build your own. So first let's see this in action. Before you move forward make sure you have your API keys done. You need the Navius API keys, script grab API keys and all the Twilio configuration done. So I will just save the keys here and I will save the notification method as WhatsApp. So you can choose SMS as well. So now we'll need to paste the product URL. So we'll just go to Amazon for it. So and I will just take this iMac link, copy it and paste that in this place. Awesome. Now we'll just add this. And for this, now I just use the one product. Now let's track the selected product. Awesome. As you can see, it started fetching the data about it. You can always use multiple products, but for this demo, I will just show one product. You can also reduce the next number of products to track. For now, if you kept it five, you can reduce it to one as well as that is completely configurable. Also, you can use different output formats like JSON, Markdown, and Detail. So I will show you how the changes look like. Awesome. As you can see here, it has given the tracking result. So this is the price of it, the availability, the rating. Also the brand, I can also see the description of it. And now we'll go to my WhatsApp. And awesome, as you can see here, it has given me the information about it, the pricing, the display, the rating, everything. Also, if you want to see the JSON mode, you can just make it JSON and you will get the JSON response here. As you can see here, all the details. Also, if you want the Markdown version, you can see the Markdown version as well. So depending on your use case, you can change the formatting of it. And always you can export the result as well. Awesome, pretty simple, right? So let's understand the workflow, how it is working. So first the user is passing the product URL. Then it is going to the web search agent that is getting all the information about the product. And it then passes the scrape data and it stores in a product data. So I kept it as a JSON file, but you can always keep it on a database as well. And now based on the product data, the decision agent decides what notification to send so it then gives the decision to the notification agent which then uses twilio to send the notification to whatsapp message or email also for the building of this project we have used scrapgraph ai crew ai navy ci studio and twilio so if you're working with agent that needs real-time data you should definitely give scrapgraph ai a try they have a lot of option for scraping you can see the smart scraper search scraper markdownify agentic scraper and a lot more so this gives you a lot more options to give real-time data whether you need searching scraping crawling everything you can do with scrape grab ai also for the framework we have used crew ai which is a great framework for building multi-agent applications and this is one of my favorite platform for building AI agents you will find a lot of examples and a lot of different use cases that you can build with crew ai and i highly recommend you using crew ai for building ai agents and for the LLMs, I have used Navy CI Studio. Navy CI Studio provides state of art open source models starting from text to text, embedding models, text to image models, vision models, and more. So you can see the latest GPT OSS models here, Kimi K2, Quinn 3, and a lot more models. So you can also filter the model based on the use case, whether you need function calling, reasoning, rag, or code. You can just filter them and try it out. Finally, for the notification, I have used Twilio which is my go-to platform for sending message, notification, everything to your customer. So if you're working on some application that needs to send SMS, notification, WhatsApp message, and anything like that, you should definitely give Twilio a try. Moving forward, now we will see how this whole code works and how you can build your own version. So now let's go to our VS Code. Awesome. So we have opened our VS Code. Now let's see the folder structure here. So we have our agents in the agents folder. We have the notified tools and the custom tools in these two folders. So app.py is the main file where we interact with the streamlit UI. So first let's go to the agent file. So open the crew AI agents. So if you're new to crew AI, I have already created a video. I will highly recommend you checking that out. So first we are importing all the modules and we are just mentioning the product data file. I will come back to that later. And then we are defining the Navy LLM here. So we are using light LM to define Navius. So you can always use other models as well. Next, we are loading the JSON file 
So this JSON file contains the product data that we are getting from the scraped output. So we keep that in the product data JSON file. Next, go to the save JSON that dumps that, and this is a generate message. This message is generated by the LLM. And finally, the run agent function, which loads the environment. Uh, we are just setting up the environment here, and the LLM and the tools here. So we are using the scrape graph AI tool here, the decision tool and the notify tool. So let's go to the decision tool first. So the decision logic is nothing complex. It just compares the previous output to the current output. And if it is different, then it returns true. And if it is completely similar, it just says false. So it's just a basic check here. And next, a notify tool. So this is where we are defining the Twilio client here. And we are just having some helper function. So the send message function basically takes the body of the message the number uh, and what to send by default it takes it as sms first is check if you have all the apis or not then it takes the body and you know formats it in this format where you are using this trunked message function finally if we are using whatsapp it just needs this from number and two numbers so it just checks that and it just sends a message it passes the body the from number and the two number and we just you know printing a result here and and we are just creating the function where we are taking the phone number of the U client and just passing it here. And similarly for WhatsApp, we are taking the body to number and we are just using the same function and just changing the channel from SMS to WhatsApp here. And this is the main function that we are using, which takes a subject body and the channels. It's an array of options. We have SMS and WhatsApp here. And if this recipient is none, and if it is none, it just takes it from the ENV variables. And then if it is the SMS option and if we have select the SMS channel, it just uses that and otherwise it just goes to WhatsApp. And finally, it just returns the subject body and the status of this uh, function. And here with these functions, we are defining the tools for our agent. So here is the decision tool where we are taking this is significant change uh, that we have just understood previously. And then the send notification tool and we are just creating this decision tool and this notification tool which just does the same thing it takes the recipient and and sends the notification and that's it so our tools are defined now let's go to our crew ai file again so these are the tools that we have defined and now finally we are defining the agent here so let me just close the tab here and here we are defining the agent first is a scraper agent where we are passing the scraper tool which is our scrape graph ai tool and just takes the you know price, time, availability, and rating. Next, we are creating the decision agent that uses the decision tool that we defined earlier, and it takes a change in the price and the availability. And the, finally, the notifier agent takes all the information and sends a notification in our WhatsApp or SMS, whatever method that we have choose. Next, we have defined the script task uh, for our scraper agent. Uh, this is the description and example output and all this information that we have defined and next this is the decision task uh, which takes a context of the previous task and then uh, creates output using this output key change detected finally the notify task is to you know, send sms or whatsapp alert for every scrape that we does and uh, expected output is notification sent and finally we are creating the crew with the scraper and the task and we are just kicking off the crew Finally, we are just showing the output here in the structured format, the title, current price, availability, rating, and the image URL of the product. Uh, and at last, we are saving all the details on the product data file, which is a JSON file that we have defined earlier. So let me just show you what it looks like currently. So previously, I've searched the MacBook Air 13 inch, 15 inch, and a lot of others. And finally, now I have used this Apple uh, iMac all-in-one desktop that I just saw right now. And next time I use the same product, it will compare it with the previous product and give me the comparison as well. So that's it. We have understood how easy it is to create our first price monitoring agent using ScrapeGraph AI, Twilio, and Navy SI Studio. I have also made the code public, so you can find it here in Awesome AI apps. All you need to do is go to the Advanced Agent section and the Price Monitoring Agent section. You can get all the detail. Read me here. You can also contribute to it if you have some new features that you want to it. 
it is completely open source feel free to create a peer to it also if you don't know about awesome ai apps it is a collection of agentic examples rag examples and a lot more so you can see all the feature frameworks here you have the starter ai agent simple ai agents mcb powered agents rag examples advanced agents and the current agent that we built as well so if you are building ai agents and want to contribute to it we are actively looking for contribution feel free to create a peer and i would love to have your projects added here i have also created a bunch of issues that you can try it out as well so also if you like this project do give it a star it motivates me a lot to create more projects like this and if you have some project suggestion that you want me to build next do let me know i would love to build them so that's it for today thanks a lot for watching till the end i will see you in the next video bye